Well, most importantly, in detecting fraud, there, it, it varies on all different levels, but to start with, it's the location. Um, is, the, is, the mer is the buyer for that merchant actually in the location that they say they are? So there's several aspects of detecting fraud, and one is location. Um, one is looking at the device that they're using, the device footprint that they're using, um, and then correlating where that device, where that, um, where that location, uh, where that credit card, uh, where that email has been seen in the past. Merchants have something called chargebacks, and that's where they've processed an order, they believe it's a good order, the bank has given them, or the, the payment processor has given them an approval code for that processor, but two months later, the person that actually owns that credit card gets a, a credit card statement in the mail, and they say, I didn't make that purchase. So they contact the, uh, the, 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 the credit card company, and they then charge the merchant back for that device, because the, mer the merchant did not have that credit card present at the time. So the merchant is liable for any transaction that might have been fraudulent, even though the card at that time um, was not reported stolen or missing. Well, somebody has to pay for fraud, so it, it affects the price of the, uh, of the goods. Um, you know, the merchants, if they're getting a lot of fraud, then they have to absorb the, the, those uh, fraud losses, and that just affects the price of the goods. So ultimately, all of us as consumers are paying for the fraud. If you have absolutely no fraud, then you're probably giving up good orders. So if you tighten it too tight, you're going to be giving away good orders because you're going to actually going to be rejecting a good order because your fraud controls are too tight. So it's finding the sweet spot between, between having the, enough fraud controls um, and, and increase your sales at the same time. At COUNT we have machine learning, artificial intelligence, and we're continuously, we have many patents in this, these fields and we have many patents pending, and we are continuously developing um, future enhancements on machine learning and artificial intelligence. Well, artificial intelligence has been around for the last 10 years or so, and artificial intelligence does play a very important role in detecting fraud, but more importantly, there's always the human element and artificial intelligence alone will not detect fraud and you need the human element uh, involved in making your decisions, your best business practices on setting limits and trying to detect fraud.